G'day guys, now I was walking through Woolies yesterday when I came across this product right here. Devour Cheesy Tuna Melt. Mm -mm, mm, how good does that look? Oh, yeah, baby. Now this is made in NZ. It's New Zealand to you folks here at the end. It's 400 grams. Now it's got a few spills on this which makes it sound thin. Stick. So let's give it a read. Al dente shell pasta and melt in your mouth flake tuna tossed in a rich buttery cream sauce with gooey cheese and devours secret herbs topped with a parmesan crumb. <laughs> I hate. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it's got written here. All food should be mouth watering. Period. End of story. In each Devour meal, we dial up the taste, mix out the flavour, turn up the texture, tend the meats, creamy sauces and gooey cheese is always ridiculously good. We put big flavour feast. Because it takes real taste to full full real craving. It's food you want to fuck. Well, I hope I want to fork it, and if I do, I hope I don't freeze my packer off. Or burn it in that case. But I'm wondering how much tuna is actually in this. Well, let's see. Okay, creamy sauce, 61%. You've got to be kidding me. Tuna, 10%. Uh, there's sweet corn. Cream, 6%. Tasty cheese, 3.6. Oh, butter, 3.1%. Oh, God, I mean, it doesn't even look like there's any pasta in it. <laughs> it's just a creamy sauce. Now, I wonder how many of these I can eat in a day. Well, it says here 2,700 kilojoules per serving. Well, that means I could probably only have three and a half of these every day. But if this is any good, I'm pretty sure four would be okay too. Now, how do we cook this? Well, microwave or oven. Uh, microwave, well, it looks a bit complicated there. Remove from pack, heat for seven minutes, remove, Peel off protective film and stir, then microwave again for three minutes, then stir and allow to sit for two minutes. Well, I can do that. But first, let's suss it out. Yim, yim, bibble game. Made in New Zealand. Oh, check that out. That looks crazy. I can see that parmesan crumb on there. Oh yeah. All right, well, let's start nuking it. Now, it doesn't even say to puncture the plastic on the instructions. So, let's just whack it in the nuker. For seven minutes. Well, it's the first seven minutes. Oh! And the lid's popped off. Good. He wants me to stir it, but it looks so good. I'll try and half stir it. Nah, I told me to do it. We'll get that parmesan crust through there. And I've got to tell you, this smells amazing. But I'll just finish this off for the next two minutes, and then we'll come back and tuck on in. Choice, bro. Two minutes. Yeah. All right, well, straight from the oven and just check this out. It is like full on bubbling and looks amazing and smells incredible. I really think I'm going to enjoy this. Just look, the cheese has got a like a crusty edge almost on here and oh, dude. Now in here, you can see the bits of pasta there. The flakes of tuna, I'm not really seeing that. I did see some corn though, over there. And mate, I tell you what, this looks creamy. It looks buttery. It looks cheesy. And it looks real tasty. Yama! I hope. Mm -mm. Lucky me and New Zealanders that get to try this. And Australians too, if you shop at Woolies, I think. 
Anyway, it smells good, it looks good. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is al dente pasta. And that cheese is creamy. The saltiness of it, so far, al dente. And the flavour. Mmm. Man, that's pretty good. This is really creamy and really cheesy tasting to the point where that cheese sort of sticks to the top of your mouth. But it has got a funny sort of after flavour of that, well, processed frozen meal taste. Kind of like a tannin in a red wine. They might have used white wine in this, although I didn't see it on there, so I don't think they did. But, I mean, this is really nice. It's tasty, 400 grams. Mate, I reckon this is excellent. And instead of saying, cook the men some eggs, you'll be saying, get the men some devour, cuz. There's not a big, strong, fishy flavor in this. I can barely tell that it's got tuna in it. But sometimes that's probably a good thing. As far as a parmesan crust on it though, well, I can't really see it. There was one until I stirred it through. I, I just think it tastes really good. It's creamy, it's cheesy, it's pastry, it's tuna bakey. Even though you can't really taste the tuna. But for me, this is a tasty meal. And I definitely get it again. And for that reason, it's getting a big old Grego's thumb up from me. There you go, the Devour Parmesan Encrusted Cheesy Tuna Melt. You might want to give it a go. And if you do, and you go through the checkout, just tell them Greg sent you. <laughs> they won't have a clue. And we're going to sit here and finish this off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the